All righty, that sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, have a good night. You too. Thank you. Guys, this is bomb. The best. Okay, so I'm gonna try mine before I take it in there. What's up you guys? So today is Thursday and usually they come and cut the grass on Friday but for some reason yeah so I don't know like if they decided to come a day early to get the job done. Anyways I have an interview at 1230 so in about two hours and a half I will be having my interview so I am a little nervous because last time I got interviewed it was probably like uh, I want to say like four or five years ago and it was for a job that I actually knew what to do and this job I have no experience in um, but yesterday my tia gave me a like mole recipe which is like easier than my mom's because my mom has like a bunch of ingredients that you have to put on the mole and there's so many steps to it and first I don't want to go buy all the stuff that goes in the mole second it's too much work and third um I'm not gonna do it so I decided to ask my tia for her like easy mole recipe hopefully it turns out good but I'm gonna bring you guys along with me so that you guys can see how I make it and like just to see if it actually comes out good um, so obviously you're gonna be seeing like how my interview goes because I'm gonna record it I don't know if I'm going to put it on here yeah hopefully I do good and then um, I'll bring you guys along to do the mole and some rice and yep Guys, I'm so nervous, like, so nervous. So I'm gonna calm myself down. You got this. Like, I'm not nervous right now. I'm just like, oh my goodness. But I'm just scared that I'm gonna start, like, 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 doing that. So I don't wanna do that. I wanna keep it together and answer the questions the way I should. So I already wrote some stuff down on my phone, but I'm just gonna jump them down here on my notebook um so I already wrote why and why I want to work there and why I sh should be part of their team um I already read about their company so I kind of know what they're about um I actually don't know any other questions that they might be asking All right, guys, so I'm starving. I I don't know what I'm gonna do about that job interview. Um, so moving on, I'm so hungry. It's 2.18. Yeah, I'm actually gonna make the mole that my tia gave me the recipe to. And I told you guys that earlier, so I prepped everything. I have everything I need here. And I'm making some rice. I'm just gonna show you guys what goes in the mole. So I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients and then the process, I'm gonna show it to you guys as well. And then we'll see if it tastes good, hopefully it does. All right, so I'm eating chips and Valentina. But so here are the ingredients. So I basically looked at everything that she texted me. So um, there are two different chiles here. I think this one's, I don't know which one's which, but I think it's chile guajillo and chile pasilla. Um, and then you're gonna need three slices of the purple or red onion. You're gonna need one whole tomato. Um, you're gonna need a sliced up um, little thing of basically some garlic chopped up in little slices. And then you're gonna need this paste right here. Um, so I know she gave me another brand, but this is the only one that I was able to get my hands on. So I'm gonna use this one, the Costeña Mole Paste. And then you're going to need some caldo de tomate consomme, or I don't know if you call this consomme, but 
which is a Noor uh, brand. And then she said you can add salt, but I think I'm just going to add some of this one because it, um, I'm over here talking Spanish and English, but I guess like the um, flavor of the chicken is very, it complements the whole, you know, kawam here that we have. So I'm going to be <clears throat> adding oil to my pan and kind of just um, sauteing these stuff in there. And then she told me to throw them in this little, in this little um, container of hot water. So what I did is I'm gonna boil up that water so it could stay hot. And my rice is cooking up right now. So then once the chile's done, the rice is there. Like I'll show you guys the process of how I do it. So I'm probably gonna be doing like everything in fast motion, and then. Um, yeah, so basically, oh, and then one more thing. So you are gonna need one tortilla, just one. So let's get this started. All right guys, so I have my oil kind of warming up there. So I have like low to medium heat and then I have my stuff here. So I'm gonna put them um, right here next to me. So another thing that I forgot to tell you, so the chiles when, um, you before you put them on the oil she told me to take the seeds off so i went ahead and opened them up and she specified like how many chiles but i didn't have the right amount of these so i think i'm missing like one or two and i didn't take off all of the little semillitas but it's okay i think it'll be fine um and then um the only thing i'm missing here is the tortilla but um she said to basically saute these stuff so she said that they're gonna get like a clear kind of red looking color and then you'll see they're ready so once they they are nice and red then i can put these on the hot water so over there on that one over there like i have hot water so i boiled it and it's been cooling down for a minute now so it's going to be warm water not boiled i put a little bit of cold water to kind of you know like if it's still hot to not be super like you know hot so uh, I'll put them over there and I'm just not sure if she meant like putting all this stuff that I put on the oil on there on the water, but we'll figure it out. So she would be like, en nombre de Dios Padre. That means like uh, basically saying like, God, take the wheel. I think this one's ready, like it has that kind of, so I'm just going to throw it in there. Oh god, okay. So it's the water, the water is wet. That one looks a little red, so I think this one's ready too. All right, so now I'm gonna do the ajo. She's it a little bit, so I'm not gonna leave them for too long. I'm just gonna throw them in there like that.
Ben Okay, so we need the tortilla and then we'll follow the next step. Okay, I think that's good. God, just okay. Whatever, it goes in there. All right, so basically everything I sauteed, sauteed, I don't know if that's a word, is in here. I'm just gonna turn on the light because it's a little dark. Okay, so basically all I sauteed is in here now. It looks gross, but I'm sure it's gonna be yummy. Um, so now the problem is opening this stupid can. So I'm using my little can opener, but I just don't seem to be able to open it. So, yeah, I think I got it. So it's gonna have to go sideways because it's kind of hard to. Oh gosh, I opened it, but I opened it wrong. Right. Um, All right, guys. So I blended it up, and I added the consomme, the tomato one, and a little bit of the chicken bouillon one. Bouillon chicken bouillon. I don't know how to say it, but the chicken one, I added that one too. So. I blended it up and I kind of um, used a little, um, I forgot what it's called, but um, basically put it in la cazuela again and it's just going to heat up and it's going to get chunky so it already has. I tasted it, it's bomb. So I'm going to have some leftover papa from yesterday so I'm just going to make some like enchiladas de papa and then I'm going to add some of that chile and put cheese on top and then I'll put it in the stove and then I'll tell you guys how that comes out. All right guys, so this is the end result. It's so bomb, like so good. I feel like the mole came out a little bit salty, but other than that, it's perfect. Yum.